Hey everyone, this is Tyler. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add movement to your sprite. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to sprites. I'm gonna grab set my sprite. I'm gonna rename it player character. And then I'm gonna pick out the sprite. So I'm just gonna grab this duck and use that one as my example. So it's really easy to add controller movement. It's a built-in block in MakeCode. You can just click on controller and you're gonna grab move my sprite with buttons. And then we wanna change this to match the name of our own sprite that we wanna move. And once that reloads, now we can move left, down, up, right, all we want to. And that's it. So that's basically how you add movement to your to your game, but there's also this little plus button that I want to show you that has an extra functionality in the game. It says VX and VY, and that stands for Velocity X, and if you remember, X is going to control our left and right movement, and then VY is Velocity Y, and that controls our up and down movement. So for example, if we only wanted our character to move left and right, we would leave VX alone and then change this to zero. Now once this reloads, I can move left and right, but I can't move up or down because my velocity is set to zero. And velocity is just a fancy way of saying speed. So I can do the reverse, return it off X, V on, and now I can move up and down, but I can't move left or right. And we can also use these numbers to change the speed. So the higher velocity that we have, the faster our sprite will move, and the smaller number, the slower it will move. So for example, if I change this to 500, now our sprite is too fast. But you get the idea. And you can turn these off. And by just clicking that minus button, it turns it back to its default value, which is 100 by 100. So another thing I want to show you is, as you saw, once we got too fast, our sprite flew off the screen. So what we can do is we can tell our sprite to actually stay on the screen. Click on sprites, and we're going to find sprite stay on screen. And I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna click this button to on. Oops, we always want to change change it back to player character. And now, no matter how fast we are, even if we went to 1,000, which I don't think that's even a possible speed, I think it caps out. You can see we're now leaving the screen. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful as you can as a way you can add movement to your sprites.